Hello, welcome back to the Sushi Life Tuning. In this episode, I want to show you how I created uh, this kind of creations uh, using geometry nodes and sphere chop. Okay, so it's actually quite simple. It's basically like a subdivisions that's randomly applied on the surface of um, a box. All right, so currently it's all this colorful because of the shader. Uh, this is a classic setup random per island so for each island of this polygon face we get a different color so that's uh, and I render it using cycles X the subdivision looks actually quite nice and you can turn on denoise okay so that's uh, that's the shader but what is this objects exactly they are actually just randomly extruded uh, setup Oop. That's fine. Okay, this is the setup. They are, they are all extruded separately using sphere chop. Okay, uh, and each one of them have random extrusion. I can randomize the seed. But it's taking a while to update, but anyway, it will produce like random extrusion thanks to sphere chop without the extrusions it is actually looking just like a simple cube okay so this cube is special because i'm using geometry nodes to do the subdivisions okay now it sounds like really complicated but not actually you can see here in the wireframe if i tap z wireframe you can see the subdivisions so uh, what happens here we have these little node groups and each of the node group is actually the same it's just doing like a, some kind of loop almost like a loop is basically doing this geometry imagine default cube and you are separating the geometry using this random value of boolean and you and then you subdivide some of the area while keeping the original and then you join rejoin them back together and you you do that a couple of times each one of them with different seed so this is what you get um, so maybe i should actually do this from scratch <laughs> it's not that complicated but uh yeah there's another youtube video talking about this how to make like a uh, random subdivisions I'm just probably gonna repeat this so separate geometry is what you want there's also delete geometry they're very special because it's a let's let me show you if we do like random value of boolean so it's like random zero or one um, and then i pipe the geometry in there and in there this one goes there this one goes there I can show you the result it's okay uh, I want to separate geometry by face and I can randomize the boolean so it's a uh, it's separating the geometry right and the inverted it will be the inverted let me show you the cavity okay should be pretty clear what's going on is separating the geometry by selections while delete, geome de delete geometry is doing similar thing with separate you actually keep the other side okay so we can just use separate geometry let's save this very quickly so this is random sub so random subdivisions okay cool um, we can join back the geometry this and invert it so what we have if we subdivide this we get that which is pretty interesting uh, pretty interesting already yep let's get rid of the subdivisions we can do this multiple time we just simply need to group them I think 
right click uh, command G to group them together so now it's becoming a group so we can go switch back and forth and we can actually do this multiple time but before we do that we want to pipe the seed out because we want like random selections each time so if we do this like a combo of separate group subdivide separate group certified with random seed we're gonna get a result oops is it really working it might okay you don't make a mistake okay with the group okay seed random seed select face and then oh yeah I forgot something <laughs> subdivide <laughs> subdivide the mesh there okay now we have something cool so now yeah we have random seed okay nice this work on box or plane whatever we simply just need to change the geometry and then apply geometry nodes and use the same geometry nodes okay so this is what we have pretty neat we can do more and we can go inside and change the probability of the subdiv if I'm not wrong each one of them if we subdivide you can see it's becoming like separate if I subdivide this you can see also it's a separate plane and what I did we in the previous file is simply uh, do the extrusion because geometry nodes currently doesn't have subdivisions yet so yeah with square chop it's just like a simply just objects in get object data get this data enable post modifier and then random extrude extrude separate region or maybe insets even like ex inset spatial is similar search up is pretty cool add-on that I've been using for many many years and custom normal inset distance look inset maybe here we can do it like that and random number uh, and just plug this into the distance so it, it seems to be separating every phase I think yeah I think maybe don't use insert special use a different one let's save this extrude separate face plug this in get result <clears throat> it's doing calculations somehow this one is so much slower interesting this might need opti optimizations yeah but this uh this is doing it more like uh, what I was thinking random value 
So random number generators and float. Plug this into the height. Let's go to separate phase. Maybe it's uh, we have some lots of islands here and it's doing something that I don't want. Okay, yeah. Multiple phase. Okay, that's interesting. Each on each of polygon faces being separated, so we may, we might need to actually merge this. Uh, beforehand, like weld. So with weld, yep, I think this is more like what I was thinking. So that's basically the process, and each one of these is, uh, of course, like like a separate island. So if you plug in the shader, you're gonna have different shader for each of the separate island. So that basically that's basically explain the setup. Okay, yeah, so yeah, that's uh, how SphereChalk works with geometry nodes. You probably never touched SphereChalk. Geometry, geometry nodes is already pretty awesome. It's probably missing like extrude, so you can do it differently. So it doesn't have polygon extrude yet. In the future, it will have. And but just with this, you you learn how to work with a group, and also separate geometry is a very cool node. Separating based on uh, random value selections. Okay. All right, so that should be what it is uh, I want to show you today. Hopefully it is useful. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.